I guess the start of season three picks up where season two leaves off. Sean has asked Carly out on a date and she said yes. And so we will get to see Sean go on that first date. Uh, and I guess that sets, it up, sets us up for the season in, uh, in terms of looking thematically at love and how Sean is experiencing it and, and where that journey will take him. Things between them will go step by step and will be teased out little bit by little bit. I love that David Shaw, uh, you know, does that so brilliantly in, 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 in his writing is just kind of teasing out these little moments and allowing us to explore the nuances of a relationship instead of feeling like we need to rush through, you know, a first date to get to a kiss or to get to whatever it leads to. Uh, and so it certainly goes step by step, but allows us, I think, as an audience to really look at these tiny little wins that we all can relate to but oftentimes don't get to see in other shows. So aside from Sean's quest to find love, which I think is a quest we all are on in our individual lives as well, uh, the exciting thing about season three is that the residents are getting their first opportunity to have their first surgery. Um, and so we will see each of them in whatever order the story ends up taking us in, uh, going on those, you know, first surgery journeys and, and seeing where it takes them. So I think from Sean's perspective, uh, it's obviously something that he has long looked forward to and, and, and sort of seen as this culminating moment for him in his career, but it may not go entirely according to plan. I think there's a stereotype of someone who has autism that they somehow can't grow or learn or change. And yes, Sean will of course always have autism, but that doesn't mean that he can't constantly, you know, uh, learn and, and grow up and get older as, as we all do and therefore change because of that and because of these obstacles that are put in his way and the people that he meets. Uh, I think as he's become more comfortable in the hospital, it's been really nice to get a greater sense of his, um, you know, what he finds funny, the people that he may fall in love with and why. Uh, those, those little human sides to him that he was perhaps a little bit more guarded about or incapable of expressing at the beginning, um, we now get greater insight into. I guess people do uh, like Sean and are drawn to him, hopefully. Um, I think I've always thought since the very beginning the hopeful outlook on the world and the, the optimistic way that he views humanity and believing that people are inherently good people um, is a message that, yeah, that, that, that people have connected to and that have connected to Sean through that. Thank you.